chit chatting. We are on. We are doing the biz, as they say. Fantastic. So there we go. And um, I'll just put the Scotties live now. Live now. Join in the super chat. Right, that's going. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to post that to the big Scotty McClue page, guys. Uh, just so beautiful to hear Linda Scout, so hear how she's doing. Are you going to play the TV interview of you, Scotty? Yes, Eddie, I'll look into that now. I'll have a wee look for you. I'll have a wee key and see if I can find it. Right, wait till we see what comes up here. Uh, what does come up here? Right, I think I maybe have it. So I'll uh, I'll put a bit of this out for you, and you can see what you think, guys. Okay, very very important. Bit of this out. See what you think. Fantastic stuff. And um, <clears throat> right. In fact, I might be able to show you as it's going on. How good would that be? Would that be quite good? Yes. Now, this will take a few minutes. Uh, so there we are. So I'll just put that back to there. And uh, that's that ready to go. Uh, watch the water here. We sip of the water. Mm. That's lush. That really is lush. Now, uh, tell me if it's too loud. Remember, usual rules apply. I don't want you going, oh, nearly deaf in me. All right, so do let me know. I'll keep an eye on it, but tell me how the volume is. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, very important. Right, now let's see if I can also... Maybe do a full screen job. Would that be possible, I wonder? If I do a full screen, could you guys see it? What do we think? Oh, went a wee bit, a wee bit all right there. A wee bit all right. Clue's gone a wee bit all right. Now, I think the full screen might be a bridge too far. <laughs> Full screen might be a bridge too far. Um, I'm just going to see what you guys can see if I do this. Um, how's that looking, guys? Is that any good? What do you see when we do that? Well, we'll try it. See how we get on. What <laughs> will be the aforementioned gentleman that's not uh, Gabriel Byrne, uh, the other one. He is Scotland's most controversial broadcaster, and indeed, he is the talk of the UK radio industry. He doesn't play records like some lesser talents I could mention. <laughs> he spikes off. A man of very definite opinion on all manner of subjects. Women drivers, single mothers, students, working mums, you name it, he takes them all on. The voice of reason or the voice of blind prejudice, whatever you say, he's got a great face for radio. Ladies and gentlemen, Scotty McClue. <laughs> I'm going to ask you, we've been talking about prostitutes. Uh, you are, you're, you're a wise man. Or very wise. As I say, you spoke off to right. your listeners. Yes. And you have a medical condition. <laughs> Right, if you have it. Why do men go to prostitutes, Scotty? Well, I don't know why I'm actually the best person to ask. <laughs> I mean, the first thing is I couldn't do what the prostitutes do. You know, <laughs> for a variety of reasons, but I couldn't stand out in the cold all that time. You know, I couldn't cope with that. I think, I think the real reason that uh, men go to prostitutes is I blame their wives, I blame the women. Because if they... <laughs> 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 
Come on, come on. You're playing the win. This is a race.